What's going on, everybody? My name is Austin. You are back with Burger Fight Gaming. We are here once again, but this is the police too. My last video didn't have audio in it. Didn't realize that until I posted it. So sorry about that. Hopefully this one turns out better. Looks like the microphone is working. Cause like I said, I got a new microphone. So it's all or not. And I don't have my glasses because I lost them. So. Final order to write a soda bill, snowmobile, been saving it for six years. It's gonna be delivered today. Can I sit at home and wait for it? It's fine. Looks like my neighbor Heinrich Shetten is so ill that I'll that he'll need help. He's been shoveling snow off his porch every winter for every winter morning for thirty years, but he didn't do it today. He never admits when he needs help, but he's not inclined to accept help. To most folks in this town. But I'd like to bring him some food and medicine to have the day off. Whatever. And that's plenty much better. Thank you for keeping him in your thoughts. I was just plugging my phone in. He didn't go to the doctor. We decided that he was just anxious because tomorrow's our long way to concert. I'm going to rehearse today until I can't feel my fingers with good luck. When are you coming into work, you fuck? It was nice thanks for your help yesterday. I always knew that you were a stand-up guy. By the way, my wife gave birth so quick that the soap was still warm when we got home. Alright. Fucking damn it. Don't nearly enough people. Okay, so mustard, crimsy, closing cuts. I only have two caps, so I can't really. All right, so that's all I can really do. I need at least send you. I need these guys because they're more professional. What are you? Hold on. Lindsay Rosencrantz, we go. I'll keep mustard with me. What? Oh, fine. We'll figure that out later. One at a time. Yes, it's fine. I think this game was updated or something. Mr. Nice. For the photographer for Sharp Up Police as well as part time sniper. I'll tell you straight out, I like being a sniper much more than photograph photographing some bastards out by these tough performances. Anyway, Miss Reed said that now I will work on your team. I'm finally glad. I'm glad to finally be home. Went down to Freeburg to buy some lenses at Atticus Photography Studio and my pickup truck started broke it down. I have to spend a few days in the city. Can't stand it. Boy seems to stink like rotten oranges. Anyhow, I'm at your disposal. I'm ready to some people. We got Mr. Duvall. <sighs> Mr. Nash, I commune with the spirits of seeing visible things. And here's how those things I draw from tears of the earth and gaze the reflection in a wooden bowl created long ago by four spirits. We're not talking about some ordinary, well, oh no, I draw this water from a secret source deep in the forest, so secret that even the animals and birds have never heard of it. Boy spirits that quench your thirst there. Many minute my new abilities will aid you in your investigations, which I see it now, are growing, gnawing at your troubled soul. Alright. I see darkness. No, hold on. I see the light. No, the bottom of the lake. No, the ocean. I hear the singing of silent stars. For the moisture of fire, I see a criminal. He's grinning. No, he's crying. No, he's laughing. He disappeared. Now I hear whispers of spirits, but I can't make out anything just now. I hear you. They know all the scoundrels. They say, look. There you go. Don't know if it's on camera. But it went up. There you go. They know all about the scoundrel. They say, to look for the one with a two faced heart. The top is covered with soft grass. And blows this dark stone. That is all. I'm happy to help with the investigation. Alright. 518 in progress. Another woman lost temper while standing in line and smashed her glass counter with her cane.
534 in progress. An old, old lady is enraged at the bank's slow pace of service. The shaker came in and said, I don't have enough time left on the first spend hours in the bank. The cop tries to grab the old woman by the elbow, but she breaks free and hits him on the head with her can. The cop's head starts bleeding. Well... Actually, fuck you. 518 complete. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh at that, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I say hi or something. Yeah. Tosh is sitting right next to me, guys. You can't see her. She's just slightly off camera. Mm -hmm. cops go to a hospital under supervision of Dr. Kanayan. If a cop is killed on a mission, it's on you. But if a cop is, dies in the hospital, Lily will send you a replacement. After all, it's because the doctors couldn't save him. All right. Well, we lost somebody already, and he's injured. So child abuse. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, we gotta send both y'all. Grandmother found her grandson masturbating. <laughs> it's ready to castrate him with a sickle. <laughs> oh no, it's a masturbating teenager. <laughs> the grandma did not appreciate the size of his dong. 515 in progress. I, I can't help you. I don't, I don't have any people available right now. I, I seriously don't have anybody available. Uh, yeah, see, I, I, I can't help you. I'm sorry. You're just going to get your car jacked. Everybody keeps leaving. I follow that guy. Where the hell is he going? I cannot. Okay. You know the moment the sickle is standing under a tree beneath a fl flimsy branch pouring a teenager. The woman screams, Terry, get down. If we don't do it right now, Bobos will enslave your mind and now cut off your head. The woman dropped a sickle upon her handicap's words and grabbed her head. What misfortune? Papyrus has tricked my mind. But the worker from the factory many years ago. So we stopped the castration in progress. Not a crime. Like, I get I that was child abuse, but like, castration a crime? Like, is they're doing it unwillingly? 536 in progress. Oh, come on. Get back. I need to help this. I, come on. Come on, hurry up. I want to help. Get back to the station. Mustard, <laughs> hurry up. Armed robbery. Some calls so complex to require a full tactical operation during which you will direct your subordinates on the scene if a tactical call comes up. Okay. Okay, so I haven't, I haven't until the end of the day. I'll deal with it later. Oh no, it's almost the end of the day anyway. 551 in progress. I can't deal with the fucking robbery right now. You're just getting robbed. I, I can't help you. Knock it back in time. Postman reports the post office has been taken over by armed men. As soon as those hicks came through the door, I knew there'd be trouble. One of them had been here already. He wanted a package from his sister and wanted to check the warehouse himself. I shouted at them that I'd be right back, but said I hurried into the warehouse and locked the door. These criminals started trying to break down the door and went to, went to the back window, but it was swollen shut. How do you get a window to swole shut? If, they were shouting at the, that they shoot if I even tucked their package with instructions for summoning a force gear. I broke through the window and ran over the bats 
your gas station. I think they're still in the post. I'm digging through the packages. All right, well. So now it's usually near a crime scene, you can grab a few onlookers, get some information out of them. They're not always willing to help a cop for nothing, so sometimes we must take stuff and evidence to lock up with us. We're only just lying around the warehouse. Maybe someone will be interested. I'll offer you drugs. That's what to fucking work. You help me, I give you a great fucking time with a marriage of one. What the hell? <laughs> Dr. Garbage Can, that was frightened by some goons with guns. Working up with the lines and a group of tough guys walk to the post office. Okay. I live across from the post office and know everything, even the postman goes to the toilet. There were six of them, and one guy stayed outside watching their back. First thought he was having smoke in the parking lot, then I saw he was holding a gun, and it all started making sense. Okay. These goons were all busy in the post office warehouse, but now they're searching the office. You don't want to go to the front. Instead, come through in the warehouse. They'll crap, they'll crap themselves. Ambush that big nose shithead that chased me away. He's near the monument. See if you can fix his nose for him and tell your pigs they don't need to bother me anymore. The trash cans are my jurisdiction from now on. Okay. Neutralize all suspects. There's six of them. Okay. Turn one.
That was a fair fight. Rogers.
Okay, they can't sh hit shit. Okay. So who's first? You? Alright, I'll put you over here. Behind the car. Now we got you. Fun grenade. Possible to stun them both. I just don't want to do this anymore, so, you know. Roger.
Damn it. Oh, shit, jump out of the No, no. Can't believe Mustard died. That was literally my best cop. Side guys, one right from us for the day. These guys are all that good, but I mean, I do need new members. I have 35 so I can get Springer and the Parrot. I get Springer. And the Tom. Guire, you're back on tomorrow. Rosencrantz, take a day off. Flower pots. Shini, Adonovich, Parrot, Birch, Sawa, Furlock, and Belmont. Hopefully tomorrow I'll have enough cops. Checkpoint. And that's the end of this video. Kind of stressed. Didn't want fucking 
mustard to die. But he did. So, whatever. You know what I mean? So, as always, if you like the video, please like, subscribe. If you have suggestions, gameplay tips, comments, put in the comment section below. And I will see you all in the next episode.